Hey football fans, welcome back to Football News Center. Today, we have some interesting news coming from UEFA and the English Football Association, FA. It seems that the FA is set to vote against a set of amendments to UEFA's rulebook at the upcoming Congress in Paris. Why? Well, it's because these amendments include a change that will allow UEFA President Alexander Seferin to stand for a fourth term. Now, let's give you a bit of background. Safarin took over as UEFA president in 2016 after his predecessor, Michel Platini, was banned from the game due to corruption scandals. When Safarin was elected, he introduced a three-term limit for all senior roles at UEFA. He made it clear that his first term should count towards that limit, even though it was only three years instead of the usual for due to Platini's sudden exit. However, at a meeting in December, Safarin announced that the term limit rules were poorly drafted and that his first term did not count towards the limit. This means that his 12-year clock should start in 2019, allowing him to stand for another four-year term in 2027. This change did not sit well with everyone. UEFA Treasurer David Gill expressed his opposition to this change, but it seems that the revolt against Safarin has fizzled out. The only association voting against the amendments is the English FA. They find themselves in a difficult position, as they largely agree with the reforms but cannot support them due to the high-profile change regarding Seferin's term limit. The English FA had hoped to unbundle these reforms and vote on them separately, but UEFA has refused, turning the vote into an all-or-nothing choice. Reluctantly, the English FA has chosen to vote against the amendments, believing that the spirit of the 2017 reforms was clear and that Seferin's three-term limit had already started. It remains to be seen how this vote will impact UEFA and Seferin's future. Will other associations join the English FA in opposing the amendments? Or will the changes be accepted and Seferin be allowed to stand for a fourth term? We'll keep you updated on the latest developments. Thanks for watching this update from Football News Center. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more football news. See you next time.